thank you for being here today. So here is Consciousness Architecture newsletter again for June. And in the video I want to share with you how it is that so many people right now feel that choice point, that, that real moment where many of us have a sense there is another way than maybe that we have been used to then maybe the things that we have been repeating and for many of us it's also a choice point of the heart regardless of the wounds and the bad experiences many of us are actually feeling right now maybe it's a good time to open the heart maybe it is safe maybe it is possible to be vulnerable without getting hurt and without getting thrown out I've mentioned a little bit about heart math as well. So that shows that actually everything is in the heart and there's a lot of evidence that shows us that. The other thing that really contributes to that or why is this all happening, you may wondering. The cosmos has something to do with it. And it is that the constellations overall are taking us into a new age. This is not about being new agey. This is about the age of the Aquarius. The Aquarian age is actually here. And that means that the energy is shifting. There is measures of a light quotient that was like 40, 50, 10 years ago. And that is now up to over 100 and much easier accessible. There are the Schumann frequencies which spike and go crazy. And all of these energies allowing us to become lighter. So it's not an accident at all that we are in that space of these choice points. We feel we have a chance to get out of the roller coasters, of repeating the same and the same and the same, of being a victim to our wounds and our background. So this is how consciousness architecture possibly comes to us now more than it used to. That whole wave, if you wish, of awakening. So these are really the main points, reasons how this is all happening. I'm looking at my notes to make sure I cover all particularly now for June, because this is a June newsletter, it is also interesting that the moon is going to be in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is also related to healing. So some astrologers are actually able to see constellations and figurations much better. And this is really a time of healing. And healing, in that sense, doesn't mean that you have a discomfort, a disease, and it goes away. Healing right now, in that sense, is more related to the story of Isis and Osiris, which goes on the sun side into Gemini. And the healing means that we start feeling comfortable with being whole again. For some of you who are aware of the story of Osiris, of course, first he was put in a box and Isis found him again and she revived him. But the second time he was put up in, cut up in pieces. If we're taking that physical act out, we are kind of in pieces. Part of our soul, part of our pain, part of our heart, part of our mind, is separated and now and, and this is how I enjoy cosmos this is how I enjoy astrology we have an opportunity to bring it back together so a very very important choice point to consciousness and to the heart the healing that brings things together that is not afraid of starting something new, of truly releasing, forgiving, detaching, and choosing very consciously a new experience, 
a new learning. So the new learning could be stepping out from the roller coaster that keeps us in, in, in dense and heavy emotional states, in roles like victims and villains and victors and judges, and has a chance to take us out into a flow, a flow that is based in presence and more the soul roles, if you wish. So this is how choice point right now is very, very interesting. And whether we spend a lot of time trying to understand it all or listen all day long to these things or not, the energy is here. The energy of the light quotient, the energy of the Schumann frequencies, all of this is here. And it's just a matter of, are we conscious to make the choice points? So very exciting and consciousness architecture just came actually this year. So it's not an accident. Maybe this choice point wasn't available to us at that level before. So thank you for reading. Thank you for listening to me and catch you soon.